Hi guys, welcome back. The Sephora sale is returning. One of our beauty enthusiasts, high holy holidays. <laughs> but today I thought it'd be a good opportunity to dive into the Sephora collection since that's on sale for everybody. 30% off starting on the first day, this Friday, October 27th. And it goes through the whole course of the sale. The best part is they also offer discounts on the Sephora collection other times without putting anything else on sale. So be sure to save this video because you might need to reference it in the future. <laughs> um, but for the holidays, Sephora has brought back one of my absolute favorite brush sets. From the Sephora collection, they have brushes and Sephora Pro also has brushes. This is for the Sephora collection and it is the Ready to Roll brush set. You can see there's a few empty slots in here. I'm not entirely certain where they all are because over the last year I've had this set, I have heavily used all of these brushes. A few of them are fairly unique to the set, including the fan brush, which I really like for applying a really blinding highlight. If this is a nice, thin little fan brush, and it's very targeted for precise application of blinding highlights. The other unique brush in here is the little smudge brush. At least for the Sephora collection, it's fairly unique. And this little guy is perfect for smudging out underneath the eyes. Also new for the holidays, they have a little lip kit, which looks super cute. These are just their bullet lipsticks, so we'll get into those. They're pretty bold in color. Um, I think only one of them is wearable. The others are a little more holiday focused, like the darker, more moody shades for <laughs> The darker times of year. I also picked up one of the smaller eyeshadow palettes for holiday, so I'm excited to try this one out. They had two. They had one larger one and then this one. A lot of the colors did overlap, so you'll have to take it into consideration when you're looking at the shades. You probably don't need both. All right, let's get started with the primer. Now this is a moisturizer from the Sephora collection, but I do find it to be my favorite primer. It's just the All Day Hydrator. They do recommend you can use it as a primer or as a moisturizer. It's a really nice lightweight moisturizer if you're looking for that kind of thing, but otherwise it makes a great primer for underneath makeup. And then for foundation, we'll go in with the Best Skin Ever Foundation from Sephora. I have the shade 10N. I know they have that, um, like the one in the shaker can, the like Dior Air Flash dupe, but I think they might be discontinuing it. Does anyone have any information? Leave a comment down below and let me know. But I'm excited to try out this uh, Best Skin Ever foundation, because I did like the, the one in the little canister, but I think I have to move on. To apply the foundation, I'll be using the number 70 Sephora Pro foundation brush. In case you're wondering what the difference is between the Sephora Pro collection and the Sephora collection brushes, I did a whole expose. <laughs> well, really, I just took one variety of each, the foundation brush and the, well, Sephora collection foundation brush, and just did like a half and half comparison. If you're interested in that, I will link that video right here for you. It was a whole deep dive into basically the whole ready to roll brush set versus the pro collection and when you might want one brush versus the other. This looks like a fairly medium coverage foundation with a bit of a dewy finish. I feel like it's a little more yellowish than I expected for it being a neutral instead of a more warm, but it's doing a good job like canceling out some of the redness, so I can't be too mad at it. We'll see. Most foundations will change color a little bit, so we'll see how this goes long term. But otherwise, it seems hydrating. You know, it's, it has a nice finish to it for sure. Next, we'll use some concealer. I have the Bright Future Concealer from Sephora. I think last time I tried this, I had a lighter shade, so I went a little darker to see if this is a better match. It's usually pretty dewy, so I'll make sure to set it with a little powder. Um, it's, it's pretty bright, but if you're looking for that kind of thing, then this is a nice hydrating concealer, a lot of glow.
That's a much better shade match. I don't feel like it's nearly as luminous since it's actually a better shade match for me. So no, that's perfect. That looks nice. It's fairly light coverage. So if you wanted another layer, you could do that. But I mean, I'm not super worried about having a little bit of darkness. I'm a person, it happens. <laughs> um, I get a little more concerned about having too much powder underneath my eyes because I feel like then I'm touching it up a lot more throughout the day. So whenever I want a more kind of low key, then I'll just put a little bit of concealer under the eyes. Now I'll be setting the concealer with the Sephora powder, their translucent setting powder. It's a loose powder, so not quite as travel friendly, but if you're just sitting at home, it's perfect. Next we'll apply a little bit of blush. I have the Micro Smooth Baked Powder Collection from Sephora. Uh, right now, this is on sale for $10, so if you can find this plus the 30% off, then excellent. <laughs> the baked formula is always really nice for bronzers and blushes, if you like the powder variety of those things. So we'll go in with the Sephora Pro Blush Brush, the 93. Mostly because the Ready to Roll set, I'm not entirely certain where my blush brush is. All right, next from here, we'll use the bronzer. I just love a giant fluffy bronzer brush. <laughs> and that was the number 80 from the Sephora Pro collection. So if you like your bronzer brushes big, highly recommend. Now let's get into some eyeshadow. I picked up the 8 Pan Radiate Positivity from their Future Is Yours makeup collection for the holidays. So you have four mattes and four shimmers. I'll be starting with the lightest shade in the upper left corner. And then next, I'll be going in with this somewhat muted purple shade in the center, um, another matte shade. I'll be putting that just along the eyelid. And then next, we're gonna go in with the matte black shade over here. We'll be using this to deepen up the outer corner and then I will also use it as powder eyeliner. Now I'm going to go back with the same brush I'd used with the purple, just to kind of blend the purple into the black shade. All right, now for the exciting moment. I'm going to go in with this kind of purple shade that shifts blue. So beautiful when I did a little bit of a swatch. Can't wait to see it on the eye. I think we'll try a little bit without um, using any sort of setting spray. And then if we need to intensify it, dial it up a notch with the setting spray. Yeah, that is really pretty, but I want a little more. So we're gonna wet the brush with some setting spray. I do have the Sephora Collection Makeup Setting Spray, so I'll be using this. That is so beautiful. I think that's just lovely for holiday. More like November sort of parties. Cause it's more, a little more purple. So I'll go with like the browns and those other rich shades for November. Oh man, I'm so happy. It's so pretty. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little more black just to reinforce the eyeliner. Next, we'll finish off the brows. We'll add a little bit of the Sephora Tint and Volume Brow Gel.
The brow gels have the cutest little brushes. That was both pigmented and thick, so I feel like it's really gonna hold them, hold them in place for a bit. That was nice. I did say it was a gel in addition to being a brow tint, so. I feel like it did both those things. Almost forgot to add the highlighter. So for the highlight, we're going back to the Micro Smooth Enchant palette. Almost forgot the highlighter. How could I do that? <laughs> we're going back to the Micro Smooth palette, um, the Enchant, and taking the highlight shade. Um, the whole thing is called Enchant. There's only two colors. And this is the lighter of the two. So we'll, we'll take our fan brush. We'll see how blinding we can get this highlight. Feeling a little more holiday party after that eye look, so. Yeah, you see what I mean? <laughs> you can really put a lot in a exact location with this thing. Might have gone a little ham, even for a party. <laughs> All right, so now we've put the highlighter on. I think the only things left are really mascara and lipstick. I can't wait to try out the lipstick shades from that cute little holiday set. So let's get to that next. The first shade is called Celebrate, number 107. This one's package looked a little bit like a disco ball, so it was super cute. Wow, that is way more shimmer than I expected. It just thought it would be like a fairly normal sort of dusty rose kind of shade, but there's a little bit of gold in there, so it feels a little more festive and a little brighter. I do have dry lips, so that is kind of showing off the texture a little bit more. Like, I want to put on some lip gloss, make sure I'm properly hydrated before wearing this. <laughs> this is super cute. I think this is the most everyday sort of wearable shade out of the set. Next up from the Lip Story set, we have Naughty or Nice, which is a beautiful shade of red. Feels like a very classic red. Perfect for a holiday collection. One thing I do love about the Lip Stories formula is how nice and hydrating it feels. So it's nice and comfortable to wear. And this shade of red is perfect for holiday parties. Nice classic shade. And then lastly, we have a Sweater Weather, which is a really nice vampy purple. Number 108. I think this will be perfect for the look we have going right now. And that's all three of the shades from the little holiday lip kit from Lip Stories. Lastly, we have some mascara. We'll be using the Sephora Lash Craft Volumizing Mascara. I definitely feel like we got a lot of length there. Um, maybe not a ton of volume. You could probably do another layer if you would like extra volume. I'm usually a big fan of more length, so I would leave it here and this would be just perfect for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the Sephora collection. It really is a great value on an everyday basis as is, and during these sale periods when there's an extra 30% off, it's really worth taking a look at. So go into the store, try some things, swatch some things, and make sure you keep this in mind during the holiday sale.